Photoshop's content-aware fill technology is an excellent way to remove objects in an image and fix areas that are distracting to the viewer. In this video, we're going to take a look at two different ways to apply content-aware fill, starting with this image where I want to remove the lamp post as well as the shadow. I'll select the lasso tool and then drag a selection around both the lamp post as well as its shadow below. And then choose Edit, Fill, set the contents to Content Aware, and enable Color Adaptation for better blending, and click OK. We can see that Photoshop did a very good job at blending these. I'll go ahead and choose Deselect. And part of the reason is because of the irregular shapes of the bricks. So Photoshop's gonna do really well in a case like this, or in a case that there's a lot of organic materials in it. Photoshop also has a more advanced version of Content Aware Fill, and we'll try to use that on the horse. And I'll use the lasso tool in order to make sort of a loose selection here around this hay that I want to remove. I'll choose Edit, and then Content Aware Fill. In the workspace, I've got the before or the preview area here, and then a preview of what it's going to look like afterwards. And on the right in the panel, we can see that the sampling area is green. So all of the areas that show up of green are areas that Photoshop is using in order to fill in the area here. There are three different options. There's an auto option. So let's select that and see if it does a better job. I think it's still picking up too much information from the foreground. And this area here, because it's so much closer, the plants in it are so much larger that it's not blending very well. We already looked at the rectangular option. So I'm going to click on custom. When I select custom, it basically deletes all all of the area to sample from so that I can choose it myself. So with the sample area brush, I'm going to sample from the left side here of the haystack, and then I'll hold down the space bar and move over to the right and see if I can't add just a little bit more area to sample from because I was seeing some repeating patterns. Now, that's looking pretty good, except I do see this repeating pattern there. But, you know, I might be able to just take care of that with the healing brush. But let's try and see if we can't grab a little bit more information, maybe from here and maybe from here, just to give it more information to work with. I might also want to try changing the color adaptation options so I can go from no color adaptation up to very high and even high color adaptation. And that's just gonna help try to blend the colors. I don't think it's helping much, so I'll set it to the default, but I am going to select both the rotation option as well as the scale option and see if I can't get better results. All right, so I'm gonna say okay to these results. I'm gonna have it output to a new layer and then I'm going to deselect using Command-D on Mac or Control-D on Windows. I'll tap J to select the healing brush. I'll go ahead and choose the spot healing brush and then paint over some of the areas here where I'm seeing those repeating patterns because that's going to be obvious that I've filled that area. All right, if I toggle this layer on and off, that's before and that's after. All right, moving to the third image of the snail. Again, I'll use the lasso tool in order to select an area of this image that I want to correct. Choose Edit and then Content Aware Fill. Again, I'll hold down the space bar to move over the area on the left. And then I'll choose the Auto option to see if it can automatically fill that area. Well, that's not doing a very good job because auto doesn't look beyond the initial sampling area. And I actually want it to do that because I want it to not only be able to rotate, but also to scale that area. We can see we get a little warning that we probably don't want to use auto sampling with scale, mirror, or rotation. So I'll click OK and I'll turn on scale as well, but then I'm going to choose the custom option. 
get a little bit larger of a brush using the right bracket key and tell it that it can sample from anywhere around the snail. There we go. Now it's doing a much better job of filling in that area. I'll click OK and we can toggle on and off the visibility of that layer. So that was before and there's after. So for quick fixes, using the Edit and then Fill menu may do the job, but for more complex areas as well as more flexibility and control, the Content-Aware Workspace is an excellent tool.